Hello, and welcome to the CA Clarity PPM version 13 differences course, including Open Workbench version 2 and Microsoft Project 2010. This is a self-paced, computer-based training, and I'm your instructor, Alan Mills. I'm a senior member of the Digital Celerity Global CA Clarity PPM practice, and I'm very excited to bring you this course on Clarity version 13 differences. Our curriculum for today is accessing the Applications menu, navigating the application, configuring the Favorites menu, editing data using the inline editing capability, using Autosuggest to select values for fields, the new object submenus, page button changes, the interactive Gantt, and assigning resources to tasks from the resource pool. We'll also look at the task and assignments view. And we'll see Open Workbench version 2 differences and Microsoft Project 2010 differences. Throughout this course, I will be showing screenshots from the previous versions of Clarity to compare them to the new screenshots from Clarity version 13. As you can see here, this is the login page from Clarity version 12. And I can then see the new login page for Clarity version 13. You log in the same way using the username and password. And in this slide, we see that the older version of Clarity had the application menu displayed on the left-hand pane within the application. Now, the application menus are at the top of the page, and when they're not in use, the menu headings are all that you see. To access the specific items within the menu, you display them by hovering over the menu itself with the cursor, and then moving to the specific area that you want to access. In previous versions of Clarity, the title bar included several icons with links. In Clarity version 13, the title bar includes basic links and icons. At the top of the page, there's a logout link, a help link, and an about link. On the toolbar, there are icons for refreshing the page, for the home page, for your current timesheet, and for searching. The portlet itself has a toolbar that includes icons for exporting to Excel, exporting to PowerPoint. You also have an icon that allows you to personalize your options and an icon to manage the tabs on that specific page. There's also a new back button and recent button in Clarity version 13. The back button takes you back to your previous page that you accessed most recently. The recent button lists the previous pages you've accessed during the session, and you can click on the link to return to the specific page. In Clarity version 13, some other changes to navigation are changes to the filter option, in previous versions of Clarity, you would collapse and expand the filter. Now, you use the plus on the left-hand side of the page to open up the filter, and then minus to close down the filter when you finished. Also, there's an Actions drop-down where you can configure the page that you're on. And a Progress Indicator can be used to update the page and show you that um, progress is being made on that particular page. Some of the changes from version 12 to version 13. The font settings option has been removed from the action setting page. Now to change the font you simply do control plus to increase the size of the font and control minus to decrease the size of the font. In Clarity version 13, there's a new feature called the Favorites menu. The Favorites menu enables users to tailor their menu 
to improve their navigation throughout Clarity. They can add links that are specific to things that they do on a regular basis. So basically you can add links to pages you access on a regular basis. You can organize the entries into sections and you can create links for actions such as creating a project or running a report. You access the favorites menu the same way as you access any other menu by hovering over the favorites menu and then you can use the specific buttons at the bottom to add your current link to manage the menu items and sections and to refresh the page. I'm now going to demonstrate some of the navigation capabilities in Clarity version 13 in a live demonstration. As you can see at the top of the page there are two major menus the home menu and the favorites menu. The details of those menus are hidden until they are needed and activated. To activate any of the menus you hover over your cursor over the menu and it brings up the detail sections and links associated with that particular menu. There's a home menu and in a few minutes I'll discuss the favorites menu. Also on the left hand side of the page there's a back button that takes you back to the previous page that you accessed and then there is a, a recents button that lets you go back to a specific page that you've accessed during this session. I'm now going to review the functionality of the new favorites menu. To add a new page to the favorites menu simply go to the page that you want to add. I'm going to add the reports and jobs page to my favorites menu. I'm going to go to my favorites menu itself hit add current and then I'm going to see that the available reports is now part of my current links. I can also configure the page to rename my sections and add the pages to those specific sections through this particular link. The inline editing capability in Clarity version 13 enables data insertion and data updates faster. The inline editing capability is used on list pages and it replaces the edit mode from previous versions of Clarity. When you update the page, you click on the item that you want to update. And once you move from the field and you've updated a particular field, there is a red triangle that displays on the top left hand corner of that field indicating that that particular field has not been saved. Another feature in Clarity version 13 is the order suggest. It helps you locate values for browser fields. And you type in the partial values into the order suggest fields and the match values return. It also works for multi select fields and it works for filter fields as well. So basically you type in the first few letters of a value you're looking for and a filtered list of values that include the entered values that you entered are displayed. In order to access the inline editing capability I simply go to a list page in this particular case I'm going to the projects list page and it enables me to utilize the inline editing capability right away by clicking on a particular field I'm going to edit the call center improvements project I'm going to call it the call center improvement project number two and I'm going to move into another cell and as you can see a red triangle appears on the left hand corner of the page until I hit the save button which would then save the information the data and save it to the project. I can also use on this particular page the auto suggest capability by clicking on a field and typing in the first few letters of what I'm looking for I can reduce the number of items that are selectable for this particular field and then I select that particular item 
to be the value for that particular field by selecting it. Thanks for watching. This course is free when you upgrade to Clarity version 13 with Digital Celerity. Contact us for more information on our expert training solutions. You can reach us through our website, email, our phone number, or through our LinkedIn page.